Hello guys, in this video I'm actually going to be talking about burnout, some anxieties I've had, also relating to art block as well. Art block is a whole other subject in itself and I'm only talking about art block in the way that it affected me over the last three years of university. So don't take this as the ultimate way to deal with art block because it isn't. Before I even talk about what the commentary is going to be, I'm going to just tell you what the artwork is about. So, the artwork is actually a piece for Mermaid, and it is the Copic Colours of May. And those colours are Y21, R32 and RV69. There's not really much about the picture I can explain other than Mermaid, and the Copic colours. The only thing I add on top is actually a sheer coat of iridescent medium on the top. It just finishes the drawing off really, really nicely. And also, it just made the drawing nicer with a touch of sparkles. Last week's video was a hard one for me to edit. Not because it was a hard video, but because it was my first video after all my university deadlines. I was scared of what if people don't like it? What if people don't like my editing style because I'm rusty? Because I haven't done a video in so long, at least a proper edited video, I'm really rusty at the way I edit. It's like when you don't draw for a long period of time and you feel like you've lost the ability to draw. That's how I felt in terms of video making and I kept saying on live streams that I want to come back bigger and better than ever but like it really does have myself put expectations on myself. It makes me think that I'm gonna be better but obviously if you don't do something for a long period of time you get rusty. University has been an amazing experience for me personally, but it is complete burnout every time after every academic year because of the deadlines and every year it's been getting worse. Obviously this is the last year so it's the last year I'll ever suffer this burnout and also this time around it is the worst it could possibly be because third year was just so hectic. To actually compare all of my years of university, the first year was so easy, it was a very gradual step from college, then the second year was an easy step from year one to year two and then year three just felt like I was scaling a skyscraper at 90 degree angles. It was not fun in the slightest in terms of workload. Obviously I've had fun throughout university and I'm not saying that I didn't have fun, it's just that in terms of the stress level it just hit me like a train. That pun was very much intended because I commuted for the last three years. But really speaking, not having time to do videos, not having time to personally draw either, I started to doubt everything. I started to doubt my ability to make videos, my artwork, and even myself. I started questioning who I was and what I wanted to become. Like most people, I'm scared of failure. I'm scared of the future in terms of what if I do not succeed? My experience with this burnout is just awful and it really does come in a cycle. In terms of my university semesters, over three years I have six semesters, each with its own deadlines. So I've been through six semesters worth of this depression-esque cycle. I'm not trying to offend anybody with depression, I'm not trying to self-diagnose, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but this is what I've called it in my mind, that it was so bad and it's so depressing state of mind to be in. I feel like, for me, 
this is a very poisonous state of mind to be in. So how the cycle works is that I feel really terrible about my artwork. I don't feel like I'm good enough. I have self-doubt and everything's just not going the way I want it to. And then the next piece of the cycle is not having time. I cannot do it because I have the deadlines and I just can't fit it in in the schedule at all. Then it comes around to stress because of the no time, because of everything that's going on, because I want to improve but I can't, it's just all building up and then that links back round to Art Block and then it just goes round in a very vicious cycle and it leaves me in this state of mind where I am so miserable and just so upset with myself. And weirdly enough, it doesn't really seem that way when I hop on live streams or when I do live streams. And to be honest, I really do think that the live streams have been a, a relief for me. They've been very much stress relief in terms of just getting my thoughts, getting my feelings out and just letting me calm down. If I did not have that, I don't know what I would have done. I might have dropped out of university who knows because that cycle every time I felt it it just got worse and worse over the three years that I did university and I loved university it was great but I did not enjoy these periods where I felt like my self-worth was just through the floor it just was not a good time at all. You can actually hear the pain in my voice when I talk about that because it really is something I look back on and it hurts me the fact that I could not help feeling that way. It upsets me even now as I'm recording this commentary. That feeling of helplessness and complete worthlessness. So this year in semester one it was made even worse by the fact my performance in the module had actually been affected due to the uh, the death of my granddad. There was a period of about two weeks where I did literally nothing. It's like my mind just was completely numb and I couldn't move some days. I was really taking that whole grieving process and just taking it really really hard but I think it was also with the fact that my workload was so high and my whole emotional state just shut down for those two weeks. You know the only thing that actually got me through it was actually Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. It sounds really trivial and it sounds stupid but my addictive nature with that game on my phone was a way to actually break the ice, break me out of the shell and the bubble that I had created around myself when I was so numb. And that game was the thing that actually made me come out again. I hope that makes sense. It really sounds like I'm bad mouthing my university, but really speaking, I'm not. I had such a good time and I wouldn't have changed these last three years for the world, but I feel like this particular feeling is something that's very personal and it's something you can't predict that will happen. Generally speaking, a lot of people seem to think that art courses, illustration, graphic design, creative media, all that is easy. Actually, no, it really isn't. It's very intensive and it's more difficult to grade. With English or maths, you mark the right answers. That's usually how you do it. But with art and design and illustration and all these other courses, you have to go off the research, the development, the final piece. You have to go off so many different elements all clubbing together into one final grade that it all has to be there for you to get the highest grade. 
As I said before, with university, I've been suffering with burnout every single year and it's been getting worse and worse and worse. The first year I actually encountered this issue, what I did was I changed everything about my room except for where my bed was and I decided just to switch around all my furniture, get a new setup, hopefully be more inspired by it and I was and it works so so well and this year I'm thinking about doing the same. I am nervous about it though because back in first year when I was having all the furniture changed around the main reason for the furniture change was the fact that I wanted a new desktop computer and it was going to be the core element in my room. It was going to be the core element behind my university work, my YouTube stuff, everything. So it needed to change. This time around, it doesn't really need to change, but I think a fresh start and a fresh way to look at my room would be a good way to get me in the mindset of after university, it's a brand new chapter of my life. Just to wrap up this video, I wanna say Thank you for listening. If you did make it to the end of this video, please honestly comment down below saying that you did. I don't want any of those people who just skipped to the end just to comment that because this was a real genuine video for me. It was very much a release. <laughs> it was a way just to get my feelings out there and if anybody else goes through this, whole cycle of just feeling worthless maybe hearing other people's experiences might help I don't know but thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye guys